Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my Thanksgiving menu. Okay, so if you saw my grocery haul the other day, I mentioned to you that I was gonna do a separate video talking to you about what we were going to make for Thanksgiving. So first, let me talk to you about who is going to be here. So Marquise is coming back from college. Well, I guess first I should say, if you don't know who's in my household all the time, if me, my husband, my daughter, and my oldest son, Brian, uh, are, son Marquise, our adopted son, he is coming back from college. Like I just said, we're gonna pick him. I'm actually going to pick him up in a few hours, so he'll be coming back. My mom is in town, so she is here and she will be with us. She's here for several weeks. So that is going to be our one main guest that's doing any kind of distance. And then we also have two other folks that are gonna be with us and they are folks that we are around all the time, at least three or four times a week. So they're people that we are party to their immune system anyway. So no stress there. Anyway, um, so the thing about it is, is some of our guests are vegan. So we have to make both a regular Thanksgiving meal and a vegan Thanksgiving meal. But our friends are also gonna help with that as well. So I'm gonna show you everything that is on the menu. I'll tell you what our friends are bringing. And I'm gonna kinda talk to you about our schedule as to how we're gonna actually get it cooked and ready for Thanksgiving Day, because I only have one oven. So let me show you what we have on the plan. Okay, I had to put it on my whiteboard just because it's so much I couldn't keep track of it. So obviously we're doing turkey. I already have my butcher box turkey in the fridge thawing, so that is going to be ready just in time. We're also gonna have a tofurkey, which by the way, our friends are gonna be bringing that, but I'll tell you more about that in a second. Um, mashed potatoes, we're gonna go ahead and make vegan mashed potatoes, that way everybody can have it and I only have to make one thing. Vegan mashed potatoes taste really great and nobody ever complains. We've actually had them for several years for Thanksgiving, so that's gonna be great. We're also gonna have two, times, two types of gravy. We're gonna have the regular turkey gravy and we're gonna have a vegan gravy, so that way everybody gets to enjoy gravy as well. We are going to have stuffing. Again, the stuffing is going to be vegan, so Everybody can enjoy that, and we don't have to worry about making two different kinds of dishes. Mac and cheese. We are gonna make two different kinds of mac and cheese. We're gonna make a regular and a vegan. And the mac and cheese we are going to make the day of. It's one of the rare things that I'm actually putting off till Thanksgiving Day, even though I plan to make it. I thought about making it in the oven, but I actually think I'm going to make it in the crock pot. And I think that'll probably be the easiest way since our oven's gonna be pretty full. So um, I, that's my mac and cheese. And then the vegan mac and cheese, Brianna, who is actually our master of vegan mac and cheese, she is actually gonna make that the day before and it'll just be heated up the day of Thanksgiving. Green, it says green beans, it's green bean casserole. I wasn't gonna make it. Everyone requested it. We are gonna make green bean casserole. The end. <laughs> Corn, you can tell I'm not a huge fan. Corn, we are also going to have corn. Again, I wasn't gonna make corn. I, I actually really tried to cut this list down. I was like, we really don't need all this stuff. Every time I tried to cut something off the list, somebody had to have it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna make it all, and guess what, I can, I can take care of the leftovers, it'll be fine. So we're gonna have corn. We're gonna have cranberry sauce. I'm actually making Wanda from Deep South Homestead's cranberry sauce, and I will link her at the top, her video, so you can check that out if you're interested. It's like um, cranberry and orange juice, and she actually does a really great job with it. So I'm gonna try that this year, and it's also vegan, so everyone can enjoy it. We're also gonna do fried sweet potatoes. We usually fry it in butter and brown sugar. Also vegan, <laughs> so everybody can enjoy that, and it's gonna be good. Um, spinach salad. I usually make a spinach salad for Thanksgiving. Um, in fact, I, I was gonna say I have a video on my Thanksgiving spinach salad. I'll link it at the top if you haven't seen that. Um, I'll also link as you look through the video, I have my turkey recipe, I have gravy recipe, I have a bunch of different recipes that you guys can check out. And I'll even try to put some down in the description box in case you miss it. So there's a lot of recipes on here that you can use for your family if you want. Spinach salad is one. It's just something that we always have at Thanksgiving. You gotta have some greens or you really will have a turkey coma. Rolls, you guys. Again, I bought rolls that are like easy rolls, no stress. We can just toss them in the oven, be done. I love, they're very Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving reminiscent for me because they just bring back all the memories. Of Everyone course, one wants my homemade rolls. So I might make some rolls the day before 
um, maybe. It's a consideration. But if not, our friends are gonna take care of it. And then the pies. So we're making a tofu chocolate pie. Again, I have the recipe for that. It tastes like a chocolate silk pie or like a chocolate pudding pie. It really does, no question. So we're, I'm gonna be making that for our vegan friends. I'm also gonna have apple pie, which can be made vegan, and pumpkin pie, which also, uh, they all can be made vegan. I probably will make all of them vegan. Um, it's just a matter of changing out a few of the ingredients. You know, with the pumpkin pie, instead of using milk, we'll use oat milk. Instead of the egg, we'll just use a flax egg. So super easy, super easy to do. Um, but anyway, so, and I have my apple pie recipe. I don't know if you, I don't know if I made a video on it. I probably mentioned it, that I went ahead and froze my apple pie filling already. And we plan to make all the pies on Wednesday. So the pies, and you can actually see the things that are marked or things we're making in advance. Another thing we're making in advance is the cranberry sauce, which I'm hoping not just to make, but I'm hoping to make a large batch that I can actually can and have in advance for many meals. <laughs> so, so that's one thing that I'm doing. So that is the full menu. It's a lot, I, I know it is. But <clears throat> here are the things that our friends are talking about bringing. First of all, the rolls. So I don't have to do the rolls. They're talking about doing rolls. So maybe, maybe that'll happen. Uh, like I said, they're bringing the tofurkey. Um, they're thinking about bringing a pecan pie because they want a pecan pie. And they're also bringing the whipped cream <laughs> because I don't have any. And that's what they're gonna do. But of course they are gonna help cook some of the things that are you know, on the list that we're making that day. And a lot of these things are really easy. You know, um, you could certainly do like the green bean casserole can actually be done well in advance. Um, She's in her apron did a really great video on making green bean casserole in advance. And I'll link that down below for you guys in case you wanna try that. Um, but we might try a few things in advance, but but like corn, I'm just gonna take a can of corn and heat it up. Like that's not gonna be stressful. You know, the cranberry sauce I'm gonna make in advance, I'm just gonna be heating it up. So somebody asked me how I schedule everything. We focus on the turkey. I will have the mac and cheese in the crock pot. The mashed potatoes will be a priority, as will the gravy. <laughs> all these other sides, we'll, we'll try to get them all done. And you know, if something doesn't happen, I, I feel like every year there's something that we miss, even if I put it on the board. But that's, you know, it's, it's just food. The real point is just to be together with family. Hey babe. You see that menu over there? Mm-hmm. What are you most excited to eat? Oh, that's easy. Sweet potatoes. Really? Yes. Why? Because I love them. And, <laughs> and, and I'm just about the only one here that does. That's true. What is I that? don't make them often. And, and do I cook? No. So what does that mean? You gotta wait till Thanksgiving. It's a Thanksgiving thing. <laughs> really? So that's a year wait for some, some orange, orange potatoes. That's the Batatas. number one thing on that list. Huh? It's, oh. it's not the tofurkey? No, you erase that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, I like turkey, but you know, you have turkey throughout the year where you mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. uh, mashed potatoes, love them. But you have them throughout the year, gravy, all these kinds of things. Hey, tell the people vegan the mashed potatoes sweet potatoes, potatoes are good. The sweet potatoes stand out to me. They're special. Great. Tell the people vegan mashed potatoes are good. The way you make them. Uh, they're, they're, they are very good. I should do a video on that. I haven't done it yet. I mean, you put gravy on them. Well, you <laughs> will. <laughs> they're, they're good all by themselves, but I mean, come on, gravy. It, it'll make everything, you know, uh, tasty. Yeah. No, none of the pie. I thought you'd, I thought for sure you were going to say a pie. But none of the pies, just the sweet potato. I mean, the sweet well, potato. Well, I got a sweet, sweet tooth, so so I, I sneak things all the time. <laughs> but <laughs> just teasing. Um, anyway. But, but the sweet potatoes, sweet uh, easy. You may shock you, but it doesn't shock me. I do. I wait all year for them. I, I, them I know. I know. Special occasions, I'll get them. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's a, a turkey in the oven, or a, a this, that, or the other, and, and, and you know, Christmas or something. Mm. That, that that's sweet potato times. All right, well there you go. Rick's, Rick's looking forward to sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Someone out there also has my uh, uh, desire, love for sweet potatoes. I think, huh? let us know if you are, because I think he's the only one. Huh? <laughs> so what we are doing for Thanksgiving is what we normally do. We're gonna have our meal around two or three-ish, probably like most of you guys. Uh, we're gonna have a late 
breakfast by the way we're gonna have like a brunch and then lunch or yeah the thanksgiving meal i guess i should say at about two or three and then our area has a like christmas lighting they have like all of these lights in town and they're still holding it this year it's just like a drive-through so we're going to be going to the christmas light lighting because it's our tradition and we'll probably make some cocoa and play some board games and watch a movie so that's that's what we are going to do for thanksgiving so anyway you guys asked so i'm sharing that's what we're doing um in terms of covid restrictions we don't really have any right now and even if we did we're like you know we're gonna have way less than 10 people here again people that were always around for the most part so you know it is what it is and we're just enjoying being around our family and being thankful for the time that we have so anyway i hope you all have a wonderful thanksgiving we will be having a video on thanksgiving day sharing some thanksgiving thoughts with you i hope you guys will come watch that and this week i'm also going to be sharing with you um i have a biscuit recipe i want to share with you and worthy wednesday on wednesday oh and coming up i also have a video on grocery gifts gifts you can get at the grocery store i think you'll like that too so anyway that's it you all have a great day and i'll see you guys next time